We have some brake parts in from lead brakes for the 68 Roadrunner. We'll be converting it from drum brakes to disc brakes. You can see all the seals, hardware, screws, proportion valve, lines if needed, block off plugs, hoses. Here's the calipers. The calipers are a four piston caliper and they already come preloaded. Here's the rotors. I chose a solid rotor. You can get a drilled and slotted rotor. I prefer a solid rotor personally. We have a master cylinder that is a manual master cylinder. Uh, they do offer one with a booster and an engine that doesn't create enough vacuum like our six pack car here. We add on electric vacuum pump on it later on as well. We'll do a before and an after test with all of this. At 60 mile an hour on this road with drum brakes, I hit the brakes at this pole and all the way down there is where it finally came to rest. We did this test multiple times. We started with replacing the master cylinder and taking precautions to prevent any brake fluid from getting on the paint. Under the dash, we went ahead and removed the four bolts mounting it to the firewall and the bolt that holds it to the pedal. We even disconnected the electrical switch to make sure the brake lights don't stay on. We used a 9 16 line wrench to remove the lines off of the master cylinder. With the old master cylinder out, we removed the original push pin. We have to reuse that into the new master cylinder. We also have to remove the mounting studs as well. The brake lines are actually the same size as your original. We set up the master cylinder on this vise to bench bleed it. You can probably see the bubbles coming out as I push the pin in. We reinstall the master cylinder and move on to the front brake calipers. These wheels are a 15 inch keystone and these calipers and this kit are designed to fit inside most 15 inch wheels. With the wheel off, we popped off the dust cover. We can now access the nut and remove the drum. On a lot of Mopars, unless already converted, have backwards threads on one side. The new rotors will not have this, so you will need to get the correct lug nuts for this. It's a good idea to go ahead and loosen the tension on the torsion bar and supporting the control arm because next we'll be loosening the spindle from the ball joint. There are four nuts and bolts holding the backing plate to the spindle. We also removed the brake line from the brake hose and removed everything as an assembly. I have these nice clamps that go over the end of the brake line so that way it doesn't leak brake fluid. So we have the bracket installed. The bolts go in from the back side. We reused one of our factory bolts and then we put in the new bolt to make up the gap difference there with a lock washer and washer. The bracket must face towards the front of the vehicle on both sides. We torque these bolts down to 45 to 50 foot pounds and 125 foot pounds for the bigger bolts. Next, we must clean off the rotor surface. As you can see, there's a bunch of protectant oils and stuff like that on here. And then we're going to go ahead and pack the new bearings and install the new seals. All right, with the bearing properly packed, we can install the seal. We'll install this spacer. You can see it has a beveled edge. That goes in towards the car. I also like to put a little bit of grease on the spindle itself. The rotor can go on. Our outer bearing. Next our washer. And then our adjusting nut. So we'll go ahead and torque this to 18 foot pounds while rotating the rotor. Then we will back it off half a turn. And then we will retorque it as we line up the cotter pin. Instead of hammering on the end of the dust cap, I like to find a large socket that fits over the outside and hammer it on that way. So now we're going to go and install the brake caliper. As you can see, they already come preloaded. Pads are already in there. And there's also some hardware for the new hoses that we have. They mount with these two bolts and these spacers go between the bracket and the caliper. 
Now, I don't happen to see any lube on the slides, so we're going to go ahead and probably disassemble these anyways just to put a little bit of lube on them. Now, for maintenance, it was very easy. You just had two bolts. You pick the piece off, and the pad just slides right out. This is a four piston caliper. Went ahead and installed the caliper to the bracket itself, also using the spacer between the caliper and the bracket. We also torqued down these bolts to spec per the instructions. Show you. You can see the spacer right down there and the bolt. You want to make sure that the bleeder screw is facing up. We also want to make sure that it's not dragging on anything. And we also want to make sure that everything is centered in there. Inside in the kit are these new brake hoses, and they come with new copper washers and new clips to hold them to your brake line. Thing reassembled. We have the brake line back on and everything. Up next, we're going to install this proportioning valve for the rear. It'll go from the distribution block in here and then out to the rear wheels. There is the distribution block right there, and that will go in. So. so we have the proportioning valve installed. You can see where you can increase and decrease. We moved it to the halfway point as a starting point. Now we can bleed the brakes. We are bleeding the brakes periodically, topping off the fluid. We reinstalled the 15 inch keystone wheels and checked for clearance. As you can see, there's plenty of room. I'm willing to bet even a 14 inch wheel would probably fit on this car. With everything looking good, we went out back to the road and did another brake test. And I was extremely surprised with the results. Well, that was pretty good. Before, I was actually doing 60 and I stopped way down there. So uh, I don't have a tape measure, but let's just count my feet. So one. 63. 63 feet is the difference. This is where it stopped at with drum brakes. That's where it stopped at on the first test with the deuce brakes. That is crazy that it's that far of a difference with disc brakes. Quick summary of all the tool that was needed. 